I'm Tom Gikowski with the Perla Corporation. I'm here today to show you how to install an accessory pump onto a nice machine. So before installing it in its final location, the first thing we need to do is remove a few panels. The first one being the electrical cover, then the lower drill, and then the current drain pipe fitting for a gravity feed, which we're no longer going to need. Because we're not going to need this any longer, you can just set that aside and dispose of it later. The pump will come with tubing already into the kit. This tube here, you're going to have a couple hose clamps and it's going to connect to the drain nipple coming out of the bottom of the cabinet. This is going to go to the drain that you're going to use for the liquid that's coming out. And this is actually an air vent to allow air into the system so that you get flow through the drain. Each one will have clamps that you will tighten as you install it. So you place the pump into the cabinet and you'll connect that drain nipple to the bottom of the nipple on the cabinet bottom. You can put the hose clamp on it and that one's complete. The next thing you're going to do is the drain line that's going to go to your drain. Make sure that you thread it through the slot of the grill assembly itself. That has to be done prior to pushing up your rest of your connections. This is also going to go through that hole and eventually is going to be secured to the back of the cabinet. You'll get two clamps that will get screwed into the two holes already pre-drilled in the back of the cabinet. I'm going to set that on the side so that you can see the next connections. The main thing is this isn't tied down or secured so it sets in the back. Don't be alarmed because it's sticking beyond the base of the cabinet. That's the way it's going to be installed. If you do have any conflicts or uh, where it hits up any of the tubing or any of the connections, just gently push those tubes away so that they're not touching the pump because it could heat up the pump and cause issues. The next thing is you want to hook up your electrical. With the plug that comes with it is a polarized plug. The plug has just got a little clip on it. Here's the connection. It's got a little sign on it or it tells you that warning that if you're going to, depending on which model you have, I'm going to tell you this model that we are supplying you, you disconnect this and this is going to be disposed of. You now take your connection to your pump and you reconnect it. Now that's all set and ready to go. Then all you would do is reassemble all your panels. Prior to putting it into operational, what you want to do is go in the front of the cabinet Put in about 24 to 32 ounces of water, turn it to make ice, and then what's going to happen is the water is going to drain into the pump. There's a little float valve in here that's going to rise up telling you that it's full, and then it turns the pump on and sends it out to your drain. What you need to do then is check all your fittings, make sure that you don't have any leaks or any dripping of water. If you're satisfied with that, you need to push the cabinet back into place. One thing to caution you on is when you're doing this tube that goes to the drain, make sure you have a pullout loop so if you ever have to service it or work on that pump again, you can pull the unit out for service. Thank you.